Number 10. Courtney Sanford was driving when she decided to upload a bunch of selfie pictures to Facebook. She also made the status, the happy song makes me so happy. Seconds after she posted the status, she crashed head on into a truck, killing her instantly. Number 9. A 16-year-old from Italy named Isabella Franciola suffered serious injury after falling over the railing of a promenade. While trying to take the picture, the teen was unable to steady herself, causing her to fall 60 feet to the ground. She was rushed to a local hospital and underwent surgery. However, doctors were unable to save her. Number 8. Ramon Gonzalez was a rapper from Puerto Rico who sang reggaeton music. He went by the name JDL. While visiting family in Rochester, New York, JDL was going for a ride on his motorcycle and snapped a selfie. Moments later, JDL lost control of his motorcycle and ended up in the path of an oncoming vehicle. He died shortly after at Strong Memorial Hospital. Number 7. In August 2014, a Polish couple died after falling from a cliff in Portugal's Cabo da Roca while apparently trying to take selfies with their children near the edge. The couple's children, aged 5 and 6, witnessed the fall and were set in the care of Polish diplomats and psychologists. Number 6. A 17-year-old girl plunged 30 feet to her death as she climbed onto a railway bridge to take a selfie. Xenia Ignatevia was a month short of her 18th birthday when she fell and was hit by 1,500 volts as she was electrocuted when she tried to grab live wires. Her life was cut short when she decided that the top of the rail bridge in the Russian city of St. Petersburg would make a great location for one of her pictures. Police believe the teen may have been alive for a short while after she hit the ground. Number 5. A young woman named Cheska Agas drowned while posing for a group selfie after a friend's birthday celebration in the Philippines. The 18-year-old student was overtaken by a strong wave that struck the group as they posed in front of the famous Bangai windmills on a beach in Baranje, Masakil. Police rushed Miss Agas to a nearby hospital, but she was pronounced dead upon arrival. Number 4. Bride-to-be Colette Moreno, 26, died in a car crash in June 2014 while trying to take selfies on her way to her bachelorette party. She was in the passenger seat when the car driven by her friend collided with an oncoming vehicle. Ashley M. Theobald said she was trying to pass a semi whose exhaust fumes were causing Moreno to have an asthmatic reaction. She left behind her 5-year-old son and her devastated fiancé, Jesse Arcobasso. Number 3. Playing with guns is dangerous, but taking selfies with guns can kill you. In 2014, a Mexican man died after taking a selfie when the gun he was using as a prop discharged and mortally wounded him. The victim was identified as 21-year-old Oscar Otero Aguilar. He was a fan of taking elaborate selfies on his Facebook page. According to the police, the young man was waving it around while trying to take the picture. He died on his way to the hospital. Number 2. In 2014, a 23-year-old nursing student from Poland died while attempting a selfie on the iconic Puente de Triana Bridge in southern Spain. While balancing on the ledge of the famous bridge, Sylvia Rachel slipped and fell 15 feet into the structure's concrete footings. She was revived after going into cardiac arrest at the scene, but died later in the Hospital of Traumatology. The harrowing accident happened on the young woman's dream vacation. Number 1. In May 2015, a Romanian teenager burst into flames after accidentally touching a live wire while attempting to take the ultimate selfie on the roof of a train. Ana Ursu, 18, and a friend went to a train station in the town of Iasi to take a special selfie that she intended to post on Facebook. As she lay on top of a train and stuck one of her legs in the air, an electrical field surrounding the overhead cables sent 27,000 volts zapping through her body, causing her to burst into flames. Despite the best efforts of a passerby to save her, the 18-year-old later died in a hospital with burns to 50% of her body. Thanks for watching this video. Make sure to subscribe and also don't forget to watch our previous video.